Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm in my shop and I'm gonna make some improvements just to better utilize some of my space. So I've got tons of scrap plywood that was just stacked up leaning here. It was a mess, you couldn't really get to any of it very well. So we've pulled all that out. My wife's helping me organize this. We're actually gonna build some little partitions here underneath because I can't really walk under here anyway. That way we'll be able to stick the plywood vertically with different heights and sections, but I think it's gonna work well. It's gonna be a quick video. Thanks for coming along. Let me show you how we do it. So we figured out that if we make each of these vertical pieces about 23 and a half inches tall, we can get four out of a full uh, two by four. And then I've got a half two by four here that we can get the other two, making up the six total that we need. So I'm gonna cut those at the miter saw. We had these left over from another project. It was actually two by tens that had been ripped down. So I'm actually just gonna use these for the horizontal pieces. And that will kind of dictate the size that we need to use because they're already all cut to the same length. The trick I like to use is put it on the one mark and then just add one to the end of whatever measurement you need. So we need 12 and a half. I'm gonna line it up with the one Instead of 12 and a half, I'm gonna mark 13 and a half. Now we can just flip it. And I don't even have to turn the saw. Just for aesthetics for the horizontal pieces, I'm actually going to nip this corner off. I think it'll make it look just a little bit nicer. It doesn't really help or harm anything, and I'm gonna do that at the miter saw. So at this point, we've got all of our cross sections. This will be up against the wall. This is the beam coming out. And we have our pieces cut for the diagonals that I'm basically just going to uh, toe screw, toe nail, I don't know what, what that is, in through here. But first we're gonna mount them to the wall so they're easier to put screws into the studs. I think that's gonna go easier. Then we can mount the triangles, we're done. Before I take these over to the wall and get them mounted, I wanna go ahead and pre-drill where I'm gonna put a couple screws in each of them, just be easier right here. And then from the back side, I'm gonna use kind of a countersink just so that uh, any sheetrock that kind of gets pulled up as the screw comes out, um, it'll have somewhere to go. It won't hold this off of the wall. First time ever. All right, I gotta get up. Pretty good. What am I gonna drill with that? Okay. Not effective. <laughs> However, I heard the noise about very So I've got all these installed now. Um, 
Next up, we are going to put the triangle pieces that connect these so that they'll be a little sturdier. Honestly, they're probably sturdy enough right now just to land some plywood on, but we wanna make sure that they're not going anywhere. So we've cut some triangle pieces. We're gonna put them here. Then we're gonna get all of our plywood stacked up. This project should be done. Strength test. Mm -hmm. Look, bomb hands. <laughs> I think they really could hold me. I just yeah. can't get up in there. Please don't rip them off the wall. Thank you so much for checking out this project. Uh, it was just a quick shop organization project. Maybe you picked up something that you can do in your shop. As you can see, we have everything just organized. I can get to stuff very easily. I can just pick out a piece that I need, slide it back in there. We've got a section that's taller here for the few pieces that I have that are taller. And I even ended up with a section uh, for some hardwood cutoffs that just happen to fit here very well. Don't forget to subscribe down there. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.